Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Easy Accounting Channel. Today we are talking about trust, income, tax, return. Who should file trust, income, tax, return? T3. You have to file a T3 return if income from the trust property is subject to tax in the tax year and is requested to file by CRA and has a taxable payable and is a deemed resident trust. An income of more than 100 allocated to any single beneficiary distributed capital. Application for a trust account number. You don't need to apply for a trust account number before filing T3 return on paper. However, you do need to apply for a trust account number if you are filing electronics. So CRA, Canada Revenue Agency, will issue account number if you don't have one. Who can apply? The trustee, an individual or a trust institute that holds legal title to the property in trust for the benefit of the beneficiary can apply. What you need before you start, you need to sign copy of trust document or the last will and testament. You also need to know your trust type if you want to authorize a person to apply for the trust account for you. How to apply for your T3 tax trust income tax? You can apply online or by mail. Online, you can apply through your CRA account or my business account or through your represent a client. By mail, you can mail it to the address in the CRA account. You mail it to address in Winnipeg Tax Centre 66 Stapon Road, Winnipeg. That is if you are living in BC, Alberta, Manitoba, or specific areas of Toronto. After you apply online, when using the new trust account registration service, a trust account will be given to you immediately. If you apply by mail, See how you process your form T3 APP and assign a trust account number to the trust when they mail it to you. How to file your T3 return? Filing a T3 return online, trust administrators and their representative can file their T3 return electronic through CRA, Internet File Transfer Service, but you have to be eligible to file online. So there are restrictions for filing online. You cannot use internet file transfer to file a trust if the line on, if the amount on line 56, line 84 or line 94 is greater than zero. And the trust went bankrupt and the trust does not have a trust account and the trust is subject to minimum tax. So you cannot file online. So before you file online, before the internet, before filing with internet file transfer, the trust identification information must be up to date. So you cannot use internet file to transfer change of identification, such as the trust name, trust legal representative, web access code. So to file a T3 return online using internet transfer file, you will need a web access code, WAC. So if you have a web access code that was issued to file your trust related information, you can use one. If you mis misplaced or you do not have, go to the website to use the online service. The internet file transfer, online filing for trust return is only available for 2017 and later year. Certain condition must be met in order to file a trust return online. Steps in filing your T3 return online. You download the screen 
or use your software to create and save your return in XML format. Then make sure you have your web access code and your trust account number. Then you submit electronics. Supporting document for online filing, what is required? Only election and form T1135, foreign income verification statement, have to be sent to CRA. So you do not have to send any other supporting documents when filing online. Keep all your documents you use to file to prepare your return, such as the book, the record, and the forms. Keep them. Uh, good six years and be ready to send your document to CRA in case they ask for your document. So where to send a document? You can send the document, all paper documentation to support elections should be sent to the tax center that serve that area where the legal representative lives. Filing a T3 return on paper. So send the T3 return by mail to the appropriate tax center. Graduated rates estates. So a graduated rates estate can have a non-calendar year. The period for which the accounts of the estates are made for the purpose of assessment. So graduated rates estate will have a deemed year tax on the day on which the estate stop being a GRE. For example, where an estate is created in June 2017 is a GRE for 2017, 2018, and 2019. A dim year will occur in June 2020 on the tax year anniversary. All other trusts, all other trusts are generally required to use December 31st for the tax year. However, an exception is available for mature fund trust that elect to have a December year end. When to file a T3 return? Filing date for T3 return, trust income tax and information return, your filing due date depend on the trust tax year end. So in one calendar, you have to file a T3 return and all the related slips, like the NR4 slips and the NR4 summary, not later than 90 days after the trust tax year end. Thank you for coming to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel and share my video. Thank you.